Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Here's a video about another navigation tool. It's called Mega Menu. I'm going to go to the toolbar over here and grab a Mega Menu and show you how it works. Like everything else, you just drag it out onto the uh, canvas and you've got one. Now here's my Mega Menu. It starts me off with three buttons. Of course, I'll be able to change that. This is just another navigation tool, a way for people to navigate throughout your website. And I can put this wherever I want. It's drag and droppable, of course. I can double click on it and edit. Let me show you what the Mega Menu looks like, at least in the default sample one that comes up. I'm going to click F5. And you'll see this, there are some um, unique attributes about this particular navigation menu. When I hover over button number one, you can see that all of the uh, items underneath this are broken into categories. So the Mega Menu gives me a way to provide several sub items or sub links and categorize them. I, it, it starts me off with four categories but you can have as many categories as you want. You know you don't have to have all four and any number of links under these categories of course. It's just another way of laying out maybe a more complex navigation system. Now under button two it's laid out a little bit differently. Here's a sample of uh, just a single column of categories and sub items and again you can have any number of these or fewer or more of these and button number three shows us a, sort of a two column layout of the navigation system okay so that's kinda how it works let's go behind the scenes and see how to make one of these like with most things you just select the object and double click on it and it brings up the mega menu properties here are the three buttons that we're started off with. We can add more buttons or remove these buttons if we want to. And of course we can edit them, which I'm going to do by selecting this button and clicking edit. And uh, I could call this whatever I wanted to call it for my particular website. Now here I, I'm also given some default things that I can remove or add to or whatever. Uh, for example, I can edit this uh, category and let's call this uh, my painting services and maybe I have another category drywall repair something like that and let's make a category fence and deck let's make one for landscaping so I could create these sort of subcategories under the major category of services let's look at that really quick there's my updated navigation bar clicking F5 to preview the work in a browser and as you can see my links would be under each category. So it's a very simple tool to use and like I said you don't have to uh, use all of these. If I didn't want four links under everything I could just delete these and these are just linking to 90 Second Website Builder right now. You can obviously you would link these, you would rename these by clicking edit. Here's where you decide what that link is called. You could link it to a website, to an internal page, to all of the things that you can link with the same tools in here. So this is where you create your links. You can, of course, create new categories. There are also other menu layouts. We're looking at the columns one. Remember there was also a two column layout. Uh, you could have three columns, four columns. You could even make a simple menu, which is just basically uh, no categories, just the typical menu of, of links. And of course you could remove you know, these if you don't want to have this many links you would remove these, edit them, move them around, etc. You can even make a button that just where the major category is a link itself where there's nothing under it to uh, be a category or a sublink. It would just might might be a, a button at the top of your navigation bar that goes right to a link. So for example, if we chose this, we would want to link this to something. And the way the menu bar would work now is uh, there would be no categories or no sub items under this particular button. This would be a link in and of itself that would take us to wherever we're linking to. So that's basically how you use the mega menu. There's a lot of um, layout options so that you can present a lot of links and categorize those links. You'll notice also under the style tab, you can control the font that's used for the links. You can even control uh, whether that font is bolded or italicized. Now this is just the font name in the button and uh, the font name in the category and then the font name in the link. So you have all three types of fonts you can stylize. And here's kind of a neat uh, trick too. You can create an animation fade which adds a nice little effect. 
uh, to the Mega Menu. I'll hit F5 so you can see, so that the uh, menu doesn't just pop. It kind of slowly fades. It's kind of a nice, smooth operation there. So that's just an option. Double click, go back to Style. You can control the padding, in other words, the space on the top and the side and the bottom of these buttons. Uh, this is just just by changing these numbers, you can control that. You can even change the little icons, the shape of those icons. There's just a, quite a library of little tiny icons that can uh, show next to the buttons. You can change all of that. And even where the icon uh, appears, how far it's offset. So you've got a lot of, a lot of options to um, work with here. Same thing for the submenus and the links. But one thing you may have noticed is when I drug this particular object out onto my page, you'll notice that it actually matched my page pretty well. And you may be wondering, well, how did that happen? How did it know that I was using these colors on my website? Well, I'll show you how it knew. This object, much like the jQuery tabs object, where I, where I have one right here, works on what's called a theme, a page theme. And if I go to the page properties, I'm going to right click on the page and go to page properties, this particular page, look at the style of it, uses a theme called dot love. And since I'm using this page theme, all of my jQuery objects are color coordinated with that theme. In fact, I'll change the theme and show you what I mean. I'll change it to something drastically different so you can see. Let's pick this theme, it's called humanity. When I click okay, you can see my jQuery objects are going to update to that theme, everything on this page. You'll notice now this object and this object are color coordinated with each other because they're based on page themes. And that's true for any other jQuery. If I had a jQuery accordion, the same thing would happen. So the mega menu is in that same family of uh, jQuery objects where that's how you adjust its look. So you can change the style, meaning the font, uh, stylize the font with bold, italic, and underline. But as far as the color and the look goes, that's part of the page theme. And again, we get there by going to Page Properties, Style, and picking a theme or creating a theme. You can make your own themes, of course, but there are plenty here to choose from. The one I like to use is this one right here because it matches the colors I'm working with. So that's how you make a mega menu. That's how you edit it. It's just another great way to add navigation uh, variations to your website using 90 Second Website Builder.